Zach Mirbach here, got some Audio-Technica M50X headphones. I made some custom ear pads for them. They fit on a few other headphones as well. Let's check out some measurements and talk about them. So the M50X kind of, you know, a lot of people's kind of gateway, gateway drug into audiophile headphones. Uh, there's a number of reasons I own these and really like them. I mean, they're really lightweight. You can kind of put them on, use them for uh, video editing, maybe video shooting. I use them with, you know, when we're shooting DSLR stuff a lot, kind of plug them into the camera. They have, you know, kind of a, a interesting sound signature. But you know, my, my goal with making ear pads for headphones is kind of retain the sound signature and just add a little je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. With these, the main thing I wanted to do is these, these stock pads, we can kind of look over here. I've got the stock pad right here. We'll probably be able to see it from the side. It's kind of pretty thin ear pad. Your, your ear kind of fits in here. Not a ton of space, not bad, but could be better. And then I just kind of, I added a lot of space to it. If you kind of compare the thickness of the pads, you can see the one I made, it's a lot thicker, moves the ear away a little more, gives you more space. I've just found, you know, listening for long-term comfort, if I'm wearing this for video shooting, for any other kind of recreational purpose, these ear pads kind of help a little bit with uh, comfort over a long period of time. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get these on the headphone over here. Um, you can kind of see I've got one on one side and one on the other side. Um, the thing about the stock pad is it has kind of a thick kind of outer trace here. And you can see in the uh, headphone, it's got a baffle and a little groove right there. And that's where this uh, pad is going to fit into. And so what we want to do is go ahead and take that pad off. It just kind of slides right. You just pull it right off. And then the ZMF pad, you know, there's a couple different ways you can put this on. I am in the camp of turning it inside out, you know, but there also is the camp where you can just kind of slide it over the outside of the pad. I've always found it easier to turn it inside out. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, there are a couple different ways to get the ear pads back on there. That's, that's the way I like to do it. So I got it inside out, kind of hold it as you put the pad into this groove from the outside. You'll notice this seam is in the back. I'm on the left side. You want the seam facing towards you as you put this on. You can twist them around after you get them on, but always best to start with it in a semi-correct position. And then we kind of fold that over and it should kind of slide in there and then kind of wiggle it a little bit you'll make sure you see that it's on and now you'll see we have both of these on and just as far as comfort is concerned yeah I, I mean i just think having these pads a little bigger a little deeper helps me wear these a little longer without my ears barking at me a little bit so yeah it just it just feels a little i mean not sound quality concerned or anything, but it, it just feels a little airier, so to speak. Kind of like the pads aren't like pressing against me so hard. We use the same quality leather, the same ZMF foam in all our pads. So you're getting the same uh, build quality as all the rest of our pads. And so that's, you know, that's what you're getting with these. So yeah, these are, you know, I think a, a pretty popular headphone, the uh, M50Xs. Um, you know, one thing you can see before we look at the uh, the measurements here is that, you know, here's the Sony's the 7506s. Uh, they definitely fit on these two. We'll give you the same kind of thing where they give you a little more space between the uh, driver and your ear. And then of course, any of these uh, M50X, those will fit in the M40X, M20X. The ones I have right now that we're looking at today are the M50Xs and, you know, just a, a nice lightweight headphone. I think a lot of people, uh, you know, own these at one point or another. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead. I got the uh, the Brule and Care hats today. So doing the measurements on this guy. And 
So yeah, looking at the, the measurements, the solid line is the stock pads, and then the dotted line is the M50 pads. And so the, the tough thing I had with these pads when I was tuning them um, is that it's hard to see, but when we're looking at the pads, there's actually these holes that are under the pad, kind of on the very bottom. They kind of go around the entire interior of the pad. You can kind of see there's I don't know, I think there's like seven or eight of them on the inside of this pad. And so what, what those did is it kind of creates a weird airflow system. And I found that to get the sound of the pads where I wanted it to be, we ended up perforating the top and the inside of the pads and kept the outside solid. That was really the key to getting the airflow correct. And what I found was, you know, in different iterations I ended up and it was kind of this mid bass that I was playing around a little bit and I found that if I, I stayed to stock mid bass or kept the mid bass over here by changing the airflow of the system this headphone just ended up sounding really woofy in a way that wasn't exactly pleasant um, and so my main goal was to kind of retain that kind of U or V shaped signature of the headphone it's kind of like an, an Atticus with a less forward mid-range and less definition in a way. And it, you know, that's one of the things I like about it is this when you're using it to shoot video or something or watching a movie, and you kind of get this nice three-dimensional sound uh, that I think works really well for the use case of this headphone, which for me is mainly uh, watching movies and shooting video and stuff like that. Um, you know, we may do a suede version of this uh, pad at some point, maybe cowhide, I don't know, it, you know, it ha it, we'll see how uh, much people like it. But overall, I think it does a really good job of making this headphone more comfortable. And yeah, so give them a try. Thanks for watching the ZMF video and uh, any questions about the uh, ATH M50, M40, M20 pads that we made for this guy go ahead and leave a comment. I'll answer them the best I can and check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks.